Um, okay. This is, you know, to be in a film of like Nightmare on Elm Street, I'm not saying, I don't want you to like reveal any spoilers to what happened to your character and stuff, but if you were to bite the bullet on a film like this, how awesome would you want to die in a film like this? Just wondering, if, 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 if you had the choice, would you go all out bloody or would you kind of go like, mm, no, maybe just a stab or oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, all out You gotta bloody. go, you gotta, gotta go, go bloody. Day. Yeah, I always say that I want Nancy to die in like a white padded room. <laughs> Like in a mental hospital. That would be very Alone. Then it could be super bloody. Really? That's very smart. And blood all over white walls. That's what I'm pushing for. It'd be pretty visually. Yeah. I, think, uh, yeah, I think it would be beautiful. Katie yeah. Cassidy's character wins best death, though. Does she? Does she die? Well, that's pretty much been revealed by now. In the trailer. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> we're allowed to say that one. All right, then. We hope. To, to work on a film, which I'm assuming is really kind of, um, you work a lot in the sense that it's very physical, and, and, and so after... Day ten of <laughs> running around and you know being in dirt and all that. Uh, do you have visions of your own where you just kind of like I don't know like does it get a little kooky for you guys to kind of look at each other and be like oh god this is you know it's more again. like I'm covered in blood <laughs> and it's been twelve hours and it just never dries and I'm sticky and can't touch anything <laughs> and I'm uncomfortable and, like yeah. It's, how long did it take for you to get the nightmare out of your fingers and stuff like that? I'm just wondering if it's The still, whole experience or yeah, the blood? Yeah, just the blood and, and just kind of, you know, both maybe. Well, Come. the experience has not been washed off. Oh, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, it's weird that we shot this this time a year ago because I feel like we're still making it. Some well, it's, I think once the premiere happens. Yeah, then we can of. breathe. But the yeah, blood, by the way, was was not easy to take off, and you yes. would know better than any of us. Uh, well, no, because I didn't have the sticky blood. Uh, right. But, you know, because we, we, when we did the reshoots, it was very surreal to be back in those same sets and back in the same clothes and, like, staring at his face. It was like, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's oh, I'm sorry. It was so <laughs> awful. <laughs> so Again. terrible. To work with Jackie, I'm just wondering what his process is like. Do you Is there an uh, pre- pre freddy Jackie, like before he puts on the face, that you can shoot, shoot the poop with him, or like, can you kind of, you know, like, can you? I don't know, like, it, and when he gets in character, does it? You're like, oh, right, we're working with Jackie. Well, he's so he's nice pretty. that it definitely yeah. was a switch when he would have to be. You know, there was out. definitely a different sort of energy on set when he was there because I think everyone was quite sympathetic towards him, and people wanted to be as efficient and fast as possible because we knew how uncomfortable he was and. Um, so I, I think that definitely changed, but Jackie was sort of always just Jackie. What do you feel this version would bring to the table that maybe the other versions didn't? The original batch of Nightmare. Like, what do you think this one kind of does that is different from... I think, you know, everybody's kind of talking about and aware of the fact that there's less fun or camp or corny or whatever it is that, that those sort of lighter elements are gone from this, but in its place, I think that it's... Uh, replaced with a, a lot of depth, a lot of seriousness, a lot of character study, and a lot of um, story. What I was surprised Much by the movie when story. I saw it is that for a horror film coming out now, it, it's a lot of story and good storytelling. You know, it's, it's, you're following it and it's, it draws you in. And um, I just think that all those things add up to make more of a kind of, just a serious, a more serious film, you know? Do you feel that being a part of a, a potential franchise like this, do you find that people look at you differently? Like, oh, you're part of the Nightmare series now. And like, I mean, like I'm sure fanboys or fangirls like kind of, if they hear that you're part of it, do they kind of get more excited when they meet you or like? I think they'll get excited after they see the movie because right now I think a lot of people are potentially yeah. skeptical. Yeah. You know, because fanboys and fangirls are very hardcore. Yeah. I mean, I had a couple friends though that when I got it, they were so excited. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, huh? yeah, you get the people who are super, super psyched <laughs> for the movie, but. I think uh, that stuff will probably come around more once the movie comes out. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.